In the previous video, I showed how the Cadillac Lyric suffered a 12 volt battery depletion fault needing to be towed to the dealer. We have picked the Cadillac back up and the repairs have been completed. In this video, I'm going to go over the technical details of the repair and other aspects of GM's over the air software update processes. General Motors Technical Service Bulletin 23-NA-124 covers the repair for this fault. There is some belief that the over-the-air updates, specifically N-23-241208 is the source of this problem, but a viewer of my channel, Bill Johnson, chimed in and confirmed that it is actually not the over-the-air software updates which are causing this problem. It's seen with owners running a previous version of the over-the-air soft software. The fault is actually in the firmware of something called a serial gateway module, which needs a firmware update applied to it, which could only be done at the service centers. The over-the-air updates are actually safe to use, and it's recommended to bring the car in for service so the serial gateway module firmware can be updated. Here's the ticket from the service center. You can see that it refers to technical service bulletin 23-NA-124 serial data gateway module causing excessive parasitic draw, killing the 12 volt battery. That's exactly what we experienced. The firmware was applied and the car was released back to us. General Motors has been doing over the air updates since 2009. In late 2019, they introduced something called Vehicle Intelligence Platform, or VIP, which is what has been used for over-the-air updates ever since. However, they've introduced a new platform called Altify, which is supposed to complement the Altium-based cars and is going to be the new method of developing software and deploying it to vehicles going forward. This was through a partnership with Red Hat, who's well known for very solid software development life cycle practices. Here's a short video on the partnership between General Motors and Red Hat concerning the Altify platform. When people think about cars, they think about some of our iconic designs like the Chevy Corvette or the Cadillac Escalade, the performance, the styling, the sound. When you think about how a car operates, what comes to mind is the drivetrain system and the steering wheel. But Red Hat and GM are looking beyond the nuts and bolts of a car down to the operating system. Altify is an end-to-end -end software platform that enables frequent and seamless delivery of software-defined features, applications, and services to consumers of GM vehicles. The importance of integrating the Red Hat in-vehicle operating system with Altify brings a whole new level of development tools. And what's critical about that is it enables even faster time to market. This continuous integration is the transformation of a vehicle that was software enabled to a vehicle that is now gonna be software defined. Red Hat in-vehicle operating system's mission is to deliver an open, secure, and safe operating system that will serve as the foundation of software defined vehicles. If we're gonna put an operating system in a vehicle, uh, we have a commitment to our customers to ensure robustness and safety, and for us, Red Hat was a key collaborator to achieving it. We are we imagining how vehicle platforms can be designed with open source. We really believe this announcement opens up the opportunity to generate excitement and involvement to co-create an automotive community to drive innovation with open source. It's just an exciting time to be in the automotive industry. I work as a technical professional in the information technology industry and have for many decades. 
Red Hat is well known as a company that can be partnered with for software development. They're at the forefront of something called Continuous Improvement, Continuous Deployment, or CICD. Their methods for providing software in what's known as a pipeline that is well tested and dependable is uh, second to none. They really are one of the best organizations to partner with for that type of thing. And so it makes sense for GM when they're looking for a partner for Altify to lean on Red Hat. And Red Hat was right there with an automotive uh, in-dash operating system, which can be adapted to General Motors vehicles. The Lyric is not only a new model operating on a new drive drivetrain, it also has a new software platform underpinning it. All these things are reasons why GM has limited the number of production, not only uh, because of manufacturing challenges, but they're limiting the number that are being released, which is why the initial release was called a debut edition. There's bound to be bugs in any new model, but there's also a new drivetrain and a new underpinning software platform, Altify. Here's one last short video on GM's Altify. People today buy phones so that they can personalize and customize them for the way that they want them to work. They download apps for different things that they want to focus on and have as part of their life. Altify will redefine the ownership experience because it will give people the ability to update and improve their vehicles just like they can do with their phone. Altify is our new end-to-end -end software platform. It's a platform that sits above the vehicle intelligence platform, VIP, and allows communication with applications to the vehicle. Not only will drivers receive regular updates that give them access to new feature content to personalize and update their vehicle, but also drivers will have the ability to, to access an app store. An example is Max Power Mode. Max Power Mode will be an update that people can download to their vehicle that will improve the acceleration of the vehicle. Another area that Altify is going to enable is our themes. themes will allow people to personalize their vehicle, everything from the lighting, to the music, to the sounds, to the seating positions inside the vehicle. And these are just a couple of examples of what we're developing here at GM. Altify is really being designed with developers in mind. We're trying to build a platform that is the easiest to develop on. This is going to enable us to unlock creativity from a broad group of third-party developers to put content together and deliver to the vehicle. Altify is really going to change the way people view their cars because today when you go buy a car, that's kind of the best the car ever is. That first day you own it. We're really excited about the future here because we're setting the platform up so that feature content, things we haven't even thought of, can be developed and deployed very, very quickly. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you very much for watching.